Uh, we now want to just get some perspective on what this means for the telecommunication sector. And I'm now joined by Franklin Sandy, who is a technology writer here at The Standard. Many thanks, Sandy, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Abby. Well, um, of course, uh, the story of Orange has been quite interesting. Now they are rebranding. They are rolling out new products in the market. Um, I was attending the launch, and uh, they talked about um, having free calls on the on the network. They are talking about 4G will be free for one month. They are also talking about um, issues to do with WhatsApp will yes. be free. Yeah. Where does this put this the company, which has had a very rough past? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's 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 very interesting that uh, Telcom is 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 starting its rebranding uh, with a strategy on on data because uh, Telcom had been really quiet for a long time. Mm -hmm. So with uh, the rebranding, it was expected that you know they'd be coming back with a bang, and it's interesting that they have uh, they've singled out uh, data and, and and 4G because they have also launched their 4G network. Previously, it was only Safaricom which was uh, which had like a dedicated rollout mm -hmm. uh, 4G network, but uh, Orange had been uh, Telcom had, has been testing its, its its own service. Mm -hmm. So now that it's uh, done the, the rebranding and the relaunch, we expect it to uh, roll it out to uh, to its consumers and, and sort of stiffen up the competition in the market. All right. Yeah. It seems there's a big scramble for data business, uh, Frank. And of course, um, just for the benefit of our viewers, of course, uh, Telcom Orange, um, we know that um, part of it is owned by the government, if I'm not yeah. wrong, 30%. Yes. Yes. And 70% uh, was acquired by a UK firm, that is Helios. And uh, this was acquired from the French. Yes. And um, perhaps um, speaking from a shareholding perspective, how much was this uh, acquisition? And of course, many people are keen to find out how much did they spend in this rebranding? Exactly. Well, uh, Telcom, like you said, it, it, it has had a rough uh, background. I mean, in effect, Telcom is, I think, the, the first uh, telecommunications pro provider that, that, that we have in, here in Kenya, that we had in Kenya, rather. So it's had a, a, a rough patch the past 10 or so years, it's led to number three in the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it, it's come with uh, so much uh, cash pumped in, like I think 30 billion shillings uh, to revamp uh, its, 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 its 4G network, its marketing, to also uh, sort of relaunch its, its money, uh, money transfer service, mm -hmm. hoping uh, sort of to get some more consumers and build its, its, its subscriber base because uh, the market is really competitive right now and we also have other players who are coming in. So this is not 10 years ago when, when Telcom had like the graces mm -hmm. of let's say Treasury and also the, the graces of, of its loyal uh, consumer base. Times, sure. times have really changed and, and, and Telcom has, has realized this and it's, it's, it's stepping up its game. All right. Yeah. And uh, of course, um, Frank, uh, they did talk about uh, they'll be shutting down their money service come the... 4th of July, if I'm yeah. not wrong, and they're talking about upgrading it and uh, rolling out a new platform. Perhaps, um, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, well, uh, the, the thing is that uh, all telecommunication service providers have realized that mobile money is sort of the big thing. And, and, and the way to sort of scale it up and, and, and make it better is to increase functionality, which means opening up uh, to other third-party users. And that's what Telcom is, is, is sort of looking to do, sort of open up the APIs to other developers to be able to make applications that consumers can also connect to in terms of using mobile money so that you don't just transfer money. Mm -hmm. You can use it to maybe pay your parking, for example, or maybe you know pay your bills or something like that. So they are looking at... Uh, enhancing the, 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 the service delivery in mobile money and mm -hmm. also uh, advancing sort of the, the array of services that they can offer through this platform. So the new platform will be something that will be more open in terms of the back end that mm -hmm. will allow developers to create uh, new third party applications mm -hmm. and that will also help for, I think, easier functionality and also seamless transactions. All right. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, pictures you are seeing there on the screen, that was early in the day. And um, they've rebranded to Telcom with a blue color and a bit of yellow. Yeah. Perhaps, um, Frank, um, as we wrap up this interview, where do you see Telcom taking the competition to? Because, of course, they are among uh, the five largest op operators in Kenya. If I'm not wrong, they are the fourth largest. Yes. Um, having a subscriber base of 194,000 yeah. as of data from the CAK, that yes. is the uh, Communications Authority of Kenya. Um, how big is the market that they can perhaps 
um, eat out of Safaricom because Safaricom, of course, controls over 20 million subscriber base. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think it's, it's, it's interesting to look at it in terms of what segment they're going to be uh, big on and what they're going to capitalize on. Uh, we, we already know that uh, voice and, and SMS are uh, on a plateau, more mm -hmm. or less. And in the coming years, we're actually going to see a dip in revenues. And most of these companies have actually seen that uh, this year, for the first time, Safaricom's revenue from mobile money surpassed, uh, mobile money and data surpassed uh, yeah. revenue from voice and SMS. So there's going to be a lot of activity in, in, in uh, money transfer in mobile money and in 4G. And I also presume that there'll be a lot of activity towards home internet and provision of uh, fiber to the homes and to businesses, because that's also an area that uh, has a lot of growth potential, but it's currently sort of not uh, very, very well served. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing how this pans out in the yeah. coming days. Oh, Do you sure. feel um, it will spark a price war? Uh, I, I, I think so. I think so. I mean, <laughs> the, with, with the way we've seen uh, these activities in the past, uh, when, when, when Telcom, uh, first of all, rebranded uh, 10 years ago after France came in, uh, we, we saw a, a price where we saw, you know, uh, sort of a race uh, into the internet market. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's past uh, the market right now to see like another price was because we know prices can come, can come lower. Mm -hmm. And but that, that's something that we know. So it's, it, it's not inconceivable. All right. Yeah. I like that. Many thanks, yeah. Franklin Sunday, a writer here at the Standard Media Group. And of course, make sure you get a copy of the newspaper tomorrow. He'll be penning a very interesting piece out of this new development by Telcom Orange. Many thanks, Frank. Thank you so much, Abby. Appreciate you. your time. Thanks.